Well, it's that time of year again when Charles Corot reports from a turkey town in Texas called Quero, which once a year, and with style, gives America the bird. If you talk turkey, turkeys talk back. Turkeys are, how can I put it, not too bright. Ah, but they are numerous on the broad range around Quero, Texas, and a community must celebrate what it has. So every year in the crisp fall days before Thanksgiving, Quero celebrates turkeys. Well, what would you do if you had to make a big deal out of a dumb bird? First, you would import a phalanx of fiddlers to ceaselessly play the municipal anthem, Turkey in the Straw. Then you would stage a turkey race. Turkeys were made to gobble, not gallop. There is not exactly a thrill a minute in a turkey race, but you have to go with what you've got, remember. And Quero's got turkeys. After an eternity, there are winners and turkey trophies, which self-conscious boys accept on behalf of their puzzled birds. Then you would have a parade, which moves along a trifle uncertainly because of the unpredictability of its leading participants. 5,000 turkeys marching down Main Street. It is difficult to describe how dumb turkeys really are. Suffice it to say that the organizers of the Quero Turkey Trot dread rain on parade day because of the tendency of turkeys to tilt their heads back to drink and then to forget to tilt them forward again, thus drowning right there on Main Street. The sun shone this year and the parade went off with decorum, but they haven't always, as J.D. Bramlett remembers. It was real interesting because the birds were not domesticated. They were just wild turkeys raised on the range and they ate acorns that fell on the ground. They weren't fed like our turkeys today are. So they were a little wilder when they got to Main Street, I imagine. Very much so because when they saw the crowds of people, they became excited and over the tops of the building and up in the trees they went. And this was a three-day job to put them back into the flock and get them down to the cut a hay packing company where we were going to take them to market. The sobering fact is that if there were no Thanksgiving, there might be no turkeys. And if there were no turkeys, there might be no Quero, Texas. So while we all give thanks on this holiday, Quero gives most deep and heartfelt thanks that once a year, the nation takes all these dumb birds off its hands. Charles Carroll, CBS News, on the road in Quero, Texas. That's the way it is. Monday, November 13th, 1972.